The FBI says this man seen walking into federal court this afternoon is Omar Al Hardin, an Iraqi refugee living in Texas who conspired to fight with terrorists in Syria along with another man in California. The 24-year-old Al Hardin, a permanent U.S. resident from Houston, allegedly attempted to provide material support to ISIS. His alleged associate, 23-year-old Oz Mohammed al Jayab, came to the U.S. from a Syrian refugee camp in 2012. In 2013, he returned to Syria to fight. He was allowed back into the United States again in 2014, according to court documents. The arrest further fueling debate about whether the refugee screening process is rigorous enough, as the U.S. considers allowing in at least 10,000 Syrian refugees over the next year. I think it's time to tell the American people the real story about the refugee program and what a threat and how dangerous it can be to the safety of American lives. The criminal complaint says the two men communicated with each other online in 2013 about traveling to Syria. In one exchange on April 9, 2013, Al Hardin asked, quote, what kind of job will they assign me to? Al Jayeb responded, when you arrive in Syria, you will be trained. Seven days later, Al Jayeb allegedly communicated with someone in Syria saying, I am eager to see blood. The FBI says both men later lied to federal immigration officials denying any ties to terrorism. It demonstrates the point that the vetting process needs to be enhanced before we start bringing in more of these refugees. If these two guys got through the cracks, how many more are out there? Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson acknowledges there is always some risk involving refugees, but says the screening process has improved. We do have to be concerned about the possibility that a terrorist organization may seek to exploit our, our refugee resettlement process. That is true of this country, and that's true of every other country that accepts refugees. That is why we have in place a very thorough multi-layered process for evaluation of refugees. And this isn't the first time refugees have been arrested in the U.S. Five years ago, two other Iraqi refugees turned out to be al-Qaeda-linked terrorists. They were arrested after their fingerprints were found on bombs used against U.S. soldiers. But, Wolf, to put it in perspective, hundreds of thousands of refugees have been admitted uh, to the U.S. since 2001. So, obviously, most have not committed crimes since being here.